Assalamu alaikum sisters. So something I have been speaking with a few of you is how you have experienced dry skin maybe from taking wudu a few times a day. So if this is you then pay attention because I'm going to share with you four tips that I think are really helpful. Tip number one is you want to make sure that you are taking wudu with cool water, no warm and definitely no hot water. Why? Because they really strip the natural oils of your skin and that leads to dryness, leads to itchiness and to irritation. So you want to make sure that your water is cool or more on the cold side because it really helps your skin. Tip number two is you want to make sure that you are patting your skin dry and not rubbing it after you take wudu or after you wash your face. Again, the pulling and the rubbing just really leads to a lot of irritation and dryness and itchiness and you want to be as gentle as you can with your skin. Tip number three is you want to hydrate um, after you take wudu. So this happens um, in two ways. If you are wearing makeup, then something I love doing is actually using the facial spritz which has glycerin, vegetable glycerin and aloe vera and rose water and like different depending on the spritz and actually spraying my face. But when you spray your face you don't just want to spray it and just leave it like that. You want to pat your skin um, a little bit so that the hydration really stays there. And if you're not wearing makeup then it's a lot easier because you can just like apply the spritz and then put some facial oil or your favorite moist moisturizer and just hydrate your skin that way. And tip number four is um, hydrate from the inside. Now this is essential if you suffer from dry skin. You want to really provide hydration not only from the outside but from the inside as well. It's really going to make such a difference. And you don't have to do this only with water but you can be creative about it and if you like teas that works. If you like fruit and vegetables find the ones that have a high water content and that really can um, increase the hydration in your body. Um, if you like soups, if you like just meals that provide moisture to your to your body then that is perfect so if you follow these tips using cool water patting your skin dry hydrating after and then also hydrating from the inside I really think that you're gonna see a big difference in your skin so let me know if you are going to try these tips or if you are suffering from dry skin after taking wudu or any other skin problems um, I would really love to help you inshallah and I will see you on the next one assalamu alaikum